Hi, I'm Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a tutorial uh, on how to use the new transparent path link or hyperlink buttons uh, to allow you to jump to a different part of Prezi with having to go through Prezi's normal path. Um, very much similar to PowerPoint, where you could insert a hyperlink to take you to another you know, distinctive and specific slide. So if this is the, uh, the current version of these. They're blue, and they have click me on them, and they're uneditable. So they're visible, and you can't change them. So if I just um, go through Prezi's normal path, you'll see it, it kind of goes through in the linear fashion. Um, but if I click on these buttons, they go to a completely different path point. Um, and in this case, it's like a product taxonomy. Uh, and then I can go back, or I can go right back to the beginning. So that's how they currently work. And these are all free, and there's up to 500 of them. So you can sort of build quite a big Prezi with various sort of links around the place. Um, and as I say, they're blue, and you cannot edit the text. So this is how to use the new transparent ones. So in an ideal world, what I would have is get rid of these blue buttons, and in effect, these images here would would be the the hyperlinks, which is uh, what I'm going to show you how to uh, how to make that happen. So the first things you need to do is download the hyperlinks. I'll leave the um, the the, uh, the the link to the website where you can download and test them. And once you've downloaded them, um, there are two versions. One is uh, a set that you can use on Prezi.com. Uh, and a completely different set that allow you to have these uh, in an offline or downloaded Prezi, and you can edit author them uh, in Prezi's desktop application. So this is the, the sort of online version, uh, Prezi.com version. So what I did was I created a copy of this Prezi, um, and I've just gone into edit mode here. Um, and before I show you how to use them, um, important thing to mention is they are transparent. You can't see them. Uh, and as such, that creates a bit of a challenge in how you manage, resize, and, and position them within your Prezi. So in order to do that, you need to enable the visibility of them. Um, you have to go to a specific Prezi we've created, which is this one. It's the only one of its kind. It's quite unique. That's a joke. Um, so in effect, you've got two buttons here. Um, Clicking visible will turn the buttons on so that you can manage them. And clicking hidden turns them off so that you uh, you obviously don't see them. So let me turn them on first, and you'll see that it's uh, it's come up to show that they're going to be visible. Oh, and by the way, by doing this, you being the author are the only person that can see them. Nobody else can see them. So let me go back to this Prezi, and let me just zoom in here just a second. Let's go. So you can see here that this button is, is hyperlinking to uh, path point two. This is going to number seven, and this is going to number 12. So we need to replace those. So let's do that by just getting rid of these, first of all. So I'm just holding down the Shift key, dragging my mouse across all the buttons. And you'll see they're all, um, they're all selected. And I'm just going to dump them. So two, seven, and 12 are the path links I need to link to. So they're all gone. OK, so these are the, uh, the sort of standard graphics. Uh, these could be flash files. They could be PDF, PowerPoint, slides. doesn't matter. You can place these path links over any piece of content in Prezi, including you know, text or what have you. So the next thing we need to do is go and grab the path links we're interested in and insert them. So first of all, you need to go to Insert, go to File. And then you need to go to grab the path links wherever they are on your computer. So just browse to where you've downloaded the file and, uh, and expanded it. And when you download these, you'll see two folders. One is the instructions. One is the actual path links. I really stress that you read the instructions or follow this tutorial. Because they're invisible, they can be a bit frustrating if you don't know how to use them. It's an obvious thing, I know. Um, but you could, you could get quite upset. So I would really urge you to read the instructions and make a copy of your Prezi before using them. OK, so let's go into the folder. And here they all are. So currently, there are 150 of them. And we're going to do 300 and 500, respectively. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go and add the path link to um, Prezi's path number two. So I'll click that and click open. You see it downloading. There it is. So this is what it actually looks like when it's visible. Uh, you'll see the blue border. 
you'll see the number two. Um, and in order to, obviously this is too big, um, but in terms of, of the active area that is the actual button function, it's anything within the blue border is actually the active area that if you click on it, it will go to that path point. So in order to size, resize, move um, the path link, um, if you click on it, it won't work. Because it's a, an active button, you can't drag it. What you have to do, and this is the, 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 the sort of detailed bit, is you need to move your mouse just over until you get just outside the blue border. And if you click that, then the button becomes active and you can size and remove it. Size and move it. So I'm just going to obviously just make it smaller, um, just make it bigger. So there it is. So that's my first path link. That will go to number two. Let me just quickly just do the uh, the other two. So I need to go to number seven. Uh, let me just click that. Just resize that. Put it there and just do, in this case, number 12. I'll just click that and just resize that and put it there. Actually, there is another way to select them. If you don't want to sort of faff around clicking just on the outside of the blue border, if you hold your shift key down, drag your mouse over the path link, you'll find it, it gets, uh, it gets highlighted. And obviously, um, you know, I can obviously go into kind of crop mode and do all sorts of weird and wonderful things, but I'll just, I'll just leave it as, as is, and I'll just put that over that one. So there you have it. So those are the, the three path links. They're obviously visible, which is no good. Um, so we need to kind of make them invisible or turn them off now. So if you go back to this uh, application file that we've created, and if you click hidden, get a, let me click that. So now we've turned them off. Now, if I go back to my Prezi, you'll see that they're actually still visible. So you need to kind of reload the Prezi. So in this case, I'm just going to exit and save. So let me save. And you'll see if I exit. So this is going back into kind of normal Prezi view mode. And when my Prezi loads, There we have it. So, um, so the blue button's obviously disappeared, and hopefully, if all is well, uh, if I click on this link, there you go. They work. So that is how to insert the uh, transparent hyperlinks over any piece of content in Prezi. Make sure they're at the topmost level. Um, but there you have it. That's how they work, as simple as that. Now, just a point before I finish. And an important point, if I go back and turn on visibility again, now go back. Now, I'm not in editing mode. I'm still in, in sort of Prezi's show mode. Uh, if I reload the Prezi, like so, you'll see that you can see them. Really important to mention that if you do this and you click View and they look like that, Rest assured, the only person who can actually see them is you because you've enabled them. So that, that visible view is only relevant to the person whose computer has made them viewable. So if on another computer another person was to see my same Prezi, they wouldn't see these. So you can be rest assured they're not going to get this sort of horrible visible image. Um, and if I just make them invisible again, and just reload my Prezi, you'll find they're gone. Just a point as well, that while you're in sort of Prezi show mode, or you know, being able to, to sort of view and interact Prezi, they will work. If you are in edit mode, but go into the show mode that's within edit mode, I'll just do that for a second and just show you. So let me just go back here. So sometimes you can, you can kind of test your Prezi whilst in edit mode. So I'm in edit mode now. I will be in a second. And I've set, selected the path links to be hidden. So that they are there. You just can't see them. Now, if I go into show mode here, 
as if I'm going to test it. They work just fine. So everything works fine in both show mode, in edit mode, if you like, and show mode as if you were just viewing your Prezi as you normally would. Anyway, that's it. I hope it's useful. If you use them, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you follow the instructions, please, because they're obviously invisible, and if you're not sure how to turn them on and off, then you can get frustrated because you can't actually find them. Anyway, that's it. I will do another video which explains how to use the offline version, which is actually a different process. Thanks very much.